gloopy formula, stinking amazing lashes. I'm okay with it. Looks like a little iron for your under eyes. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a very different video today and I'm excited and nervous about it because I've never done any of these videos. I'm doing a panning video or is it a panning series? Is it a pan panning video? I, a panning tag? I honestly don't even know. I'm doing a panning something, but this one is called the crossing six off my Christmas panning list. My best friend Ashley does these videos a lot and she just rocks at them. Like she just uses up products and uses up like 13 of them and just a lot. So when she started doing this one, I was like, you know, six products, maybe I can actually like not completely stink at it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try it. So I picked out six different products here and I'm going to run through them and tell you what I'm going to try to pan before Christmas. So let's get into it. I don't know if mascara is allowed, but I'm including a mascara because I know I can use this up because it's probably towards the end of its life already, if I'm being honest. So I don't know, maybe I like picked things I'm kind of cheating with, but there's still things that I need to use up. So I included this one. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I love this mascara. It is so like lengthening and volumizing. It's a thick, gloopy formula but I don't mind that about it because it gives you stinking amazing lashes. So, gloopy formula, stinking amazing lashes. I'm okay with it. So it's a really, really good one. Um, I do feel like I go through it semi-quickly and or like try to go through it semi-quickly because it gets kind of gloopier the more that I use it, but it's so good, I don't care. I just love it, I think it's amazing gives you amazing lashes. Then I picked a skin carry type product. This is the Benefit Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffies. This is such a cute little product. It actually, the little end looks like a little iron for your under eyes. It is so cute. I love it. I just had it a long time, so I need to use it up. It's probably getting to the end of its life, like meaning shelf life. You know, there's still quite a bit of product left, left in there, but um, I probably need to go ahead and use it up. But it's a great product. I do feel like it's very cooling. The little iron feels nice on the under eyes. Um, so I do think it de-puffs the under eyes. So I like it. I just need to use it more often. I have a couple of liners, but I'm really counting these as one because this one is, I mean, literally like <laughs> one or two applications left. So this one really doesn't count. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio, and this is for blue eyes. I do like this. Um, it works like an eyeliner. I wouldn't say it's the longest wearing, but it smooths on the eyes nicely. I like the color of it. comes in a trio, so I do like that. And then this is the NYC City Proof Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. So I did make a little mark. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but I'm trying. I made it on a, like a little mark on my paper here. So I guess I'm gonna compare it and see how I'm doing, but I really like this liner. I think it's a great one. Long wearing, uh, creamy, smooths on the eyes really nicely. This is a really good liner. I love this one. Um, so I'm gonna kind of be sad when I use it up, but it was just a product that I could pick. So I picked it because it looks like I might be able to make some progress on it, but we'll see. One of my favorite products ever, my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder. I use this a lot and I've already hit pan on it, so I'm just gonna keep going with it. I know some people like draw on theirs like with a Sharpie, but that I don't I don't know about that. I don't wanna do that. For some reason that like freaks me out to get Sharpie on my face or something. I don't know, I'm probably like worrying for no reason. But I'm just gonna eyeball it and see how I'm doing. But um I really like this. It is a go-to setting powder. Well, a go-to blotting powder for me. I really don't use it a lot for setting my makeup at the beginning of the day, but if it's in the middle of the day, I'm about to go somewhere or Timothy and I are going on a date or something and I just am looking shiny, this is like my go-to powder to just grab and, you know, be able to like take the shine away. Works perfectly. Blurs out the pores and imperfections and just sucks away that shine without making my skin look 
over dry or cakey. Love it so much. Then I picked my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm already doing pretty good on this and it's kind of getting towards the end of its life. I love this. Um, I used to use this every single day to cancel out the discoloration on my eyelids. Um, I kind of stopped using it quite as much, probably because I felt like the consistency was changing on it a little bit. So another reason I need to go ahead and use it up, but I do love this product. I don't like using it by itself for an eye primer for me. I know a lot of people that works for them, but for me, my eyeshadow creases with just this by itself. So I need a, some sort of an eyeshadow primer under it in addition to this, but I do really like this for canceling out that discoloration and just giving a really nice base for my shadows. And lastly, this is probably a total cheat item too to pick, but I picked it. So <laughs> this is my MAC lipstick in Angel. I'm laughing because it's like literally a stinking nub left, but I have had this lipstick way too long. So I just need to go ahead and use it up. And I did make a little mark on my paper. <laughs> but it's so close to the bottom. It's like not even, it probably doesn't even count, but I mean, I'm gonna try it. I'm new to this, so I kind of went easy on myself. So this is my last item. I'm gonna try to pan. All right guys, so those are all the products that I picked to pan. So we will see how I do on this. This is gonna be an adventure. So I would love to have some of your panning secrets. Like if you have tips for me or kind of how you do this. I would love to know your tips down below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these sort of videos, if you like panning videos. Let me know that in, either in a comment or a thumbs up because it lets me know that you would want to see more of these. And if this goes well, maybe I will try some more of these videos. We'll see. So ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!